Thank you, Tony. Rhode Island Superior Court Judge Richard Leach was reported to be in serious but stable condition at Rhode Island Hospital earlier today after being hit by a car outside the State House last night. We're told Governor Dan McKee reached out to the judge's wife this morning to offer his support and extend his wishes for a full recovery. Last night's incident is calling the safety of the state-owned road into question. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie has been working this story today and she joins us live from the State House now with more details. Alex, you spoke with a state wet rep who walked out and witnessed the aftermath last night. Yeah, State Rep Teresa Tanzi told me she was leaving the State House around 6 o'clock last night when she saw that large police presence on Smith Street behind me, and then she saw paramedics working on a man in the middle of the street. Now, it wasn't until later that night when she saw our news report and she learned that it was Judge Leach. And honestly, the first thing that I did see was a pair of shoes. A jarring sight outside one of the busiest buildings in Providence. And it was impossible to miss. There was a person who was on the ground. Providence police say a 74 year old man crossing Smith Street was hit near the Rhode Island State House. State Rep Teresa Tanzi was leaving the State House parking lot when she saw the scene. She later learned the man hit was Superior Court Judge Richard Leach. Tansy says she first met him when she was a freshman representative and when he served as the director of the Department of Administration in 2011, three years before he was appointed as a Superior Court judge. He treated me very kindly, very respectfully and always made time for me. And so I've always admired him um, for his ability to, to do that, to relate to people. Unfortunately, it wasn't the first time Tansy says she has seen an incident like this. She says while the circumstances around the incident are still under investigation, there are opportunities to make Rhode Island roads safer. I think it's important that we implement um, engineering and, and simple paint changes on all of our roads so that we can make them safer for all users. Now this is a state owned road and RIDOT says it is awaiting the results of the police investigation. Based on those findings, RIDOT says it will make a determination and if any other actions may be needed here. Separately, the Providence Mayor's Office told me that the Smiley administration is currently taking a look at calming measures across the city. Kayla? And Alex, so what do we know about the driver of the car involved in this incident last night? Well, it's currently not clear how fast that driver may have been going last night or if they face criminal charges right now. We do know that Providence Police says its traffic division is investigating the incident. Back to you.